Hey, folks, there is my baby. I love my antenna. Uh, that is a 20 meter hex beam, homebrew, out of three quarter inch and half inch PVC and fiberglass driveway markers. Uh, half inch end caps with quarter inch holes drilled, drilled through them uh, for the uh, driveway markers to slip into. And yeah, she works great. Uh, I had to lighten it up because it was very, very heavy, uh, scary heavy. And uh, now she's good and light. And what I did was I took uh, a half inch galvanized conduit. I took U-bolts, uh, drilled two holes to the conduit, and then U-bolted uh, the conduit to the center support above the rotator there. And then what I did was I made sure everything was lined and spaced correctly and uh, tack welded the back of the U-bolt so it can't tilt because they're going to want to tilt on you. That's uh, a real pain. I have some extra lines running for support uh, and this is just a mono band 20, 20 meter hex. Um, and I can't say enough good things about this antenna. It's fantastic. Uh, I, I got it. I put it back together today, threw it up there and uh, lit up the radio and immediately got a, I can't remember his name in Croatia, uh, barefoot. Uh, don't need a lot of power with this antenna. It's fantastic. Uh, but it's big. Uh, 20 meter hex is good size antenna. Um, anyways, uh, you can see up there, see if I can get up here, see if I can zoom in a little bit closer. That right there is a rolling carriage. I made that out of a uh, half inch threaded rod with uh, and what else did I do I put on uh, half inch I slid half inch PVC over it uh, and basically created a rolling cage it's got a pulley at the top and the antenna fastens to that and it rolls up and down this uh, support here um, then I crank it up with a winch so the entire thing rolls up this uh, center support it's basically a four by four but what I did was I took two by fours ship lapped them together and it's 25 feet and the antenna I believe is about 30 feet uh, so it's about what uh, 10 meters um, so it's about 30 feet high and I sunk a post in the ground with concrete uh, for the base and it's bolted to the post the center doesn't move except uh, when you crank it down the entire carriage the entire carriage rolls down with the antenna and uh, you can take it off and work on it so that's what's going on with that let me get the specs for the hex um, I can give you the exact uh, element links uh, this is tuned uh, off of the website there uh, uh, TXQ, I can't remember, uh, the big website. Uh, so I've got, uh, where are we? Let me zoom out. Okay, 213.5 inches on the driver each. Uh, you want to use coated wire. Uh, you do not want to use bare wire. Uh, um, the different velocity factors. Uh, I I would recommend using coated wire. It's just easier. Uh, 14 gauge, 16 gauge, 14 or 16. Um, 213.5 inches each driver. Each side of the driver is basically a bent dipole, uh, funky looking thing, into like a V. There's like two V's up there, and the feed point is actually in at the center hub. Um, the reflector is 403 inches. Uh, just cut it to that and away you go man um, no problem so that's the hex thanks for watching and have a great uh, a great time on the radio hope to hear you soon 73 from k1 GMO.